we need a new God. Our old God no longer works. It's difficult because we are from a Judeo-Christian culture. God is out there and we're sinners. We just presumed that religion was a thing of the past. We kind of think of God as omnipresent. That means it's right here, right now. It's in you and it's around you. And if you're not seeing it, it's not because it's not there. It's because you're not looking. There was a wave of spiritual beginnings. The spiritual revolution features an extensive array of swamis, lamas, gurus, Zen masters, and other teachers. The awareness of our interconnection that is really what has made life worthwhile, either west or east. And it's using our intelligence and science to affirm that. Go see Yama. You will see a true Sadhguru. She is the Buddha. She is Jesus Christ. The vibration that she carries is phenomenal. She's hugged 30 million people. You'll see her. Our Western culture here places basically no focus on the mind. Meditation. 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 Meditation means cultivating the mind. And when I started to hear the teachings of Buddhism and Taoism and so forth, and it directly addressed all the kinds of suffering that human beings have, and here's a way to free yourself from that, I became terribly interested. As soon as I start practicing Buddhism, I can see the change in my life. And one thing about meditation is because you can't see it, people aren't sure if it really works. All the body processes work the same way. It's called a learned neurological response. If you meditate in this way, your mind becomes more flexible, more open, uh, more pliable. Uh, you're able to handle stress better. You're able to make decisions better. Close your eyes and watch the experience that's happening. And then I just, I just listened. I started to cry because I started to almost feel my heart beating. And it was a long time that I didn't hear my heart beating. Why not try a T instead of a C? You know, meditation instead of medication. Call it Buddhism, call it yoga, call it Hinduism, call it Taoism, call it common sense. Call it Easter, call it Western business, whatever you want to call it. That's what is coming to our aid and we must take advantage of it. I could either study and read books about this thing, or I could live it and be doing it. 